Well, let's go live to Kyiv now to speak to Peter Zalmayev, director of the Eurasia Democracy yeah. Initiative. Peter, good to see you again. Morning. First of all, uh, give us your reaction to that attack yesterday in eastern Ukraine. Well, this is obviously very painful to see. Uh, this is, um, you know, very close to Donetsk, my hometown, and Konstantinovka. I mean, I grew up for near, near in, in in that area. You know, uh, this is not the first time. Back in April, uh, seven people uh, were killed uh, during uh, Russian uh, shelling there, and I think it's uh, quite telling uh, to see this sort of terror un unleashed against precisely those Russian-speaking. Uh, residents of eastern Ukraine, which uh, Russia uh, purports to, you know, um, to try to liberate. That's been the whole rationale of Russia's decision to attack uh, Ukraine. So instead, we see these towns in the east, in the Russian speaking uh, east of Ukraine destroyed and, uh, you know, its residents uh, uh, killed in such a fashion, peaceful residents, let me just remind you. And this is not the first time that such a thing happens during uh, such a high-level visit. If you remember, uh, Secretary General Guterres was visiting Ukraine back in April 2022 when there was a large missile attack on central Kiev. And um, back in June, when the African presidents were visiting the capital, you know, they were greeted with air sirens. So this is a way for Vladimir Putin to send the signal that he will not, um, you know, stand down, that he's uh, here to go all the way. And yet the signal from the U.S. is as strong as ever with the, the visit of Antony uh, Blinken, Secretary of State. Just talk us through what that does for Ukraine, his presence in the country and, of course, a, a commitment to a new aid package. This was uh, this is a very important, uh, uh, you know, Blinken announced that uh, not only uh, is this to help the Ukrainian counteroffensive, but this goes beyond, and I'm quoting, to rebuild a free, resilient, a thriving country. Uh, this is a vote of confidence uh, uh, for Ukraine's uh, future. It includes also $300 million in that $1 billion package, uh, which will restore and maintain law and order in liberated areas and provide Ukraine the much-needed mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles. Uh, the U.S. is, you know, uh, demonstrating a newfound confidence in uh, uh, Ukraine's counteroffensive and blink in that, that much. And I think it's very important that his visit comes amid um, as sort, uh, as some slackening of support for Ukraine on the part of the American population, especially among uh, Republicans, as many as 70 percent of Republicans are saying now that you know Ukraine, uh, the U.S. should curtail um, aid to Ukraine. Uh, obviously, this the tone has been set by Donald Trump. He's essentially representative, you know, on the stage during the first Republican debate, Vivek Rabaswamy, you know, the likes of Tucker Carlson, the former in the media star, and even Elon Musk. They've been kind of uh, sour on continuing this support. And so this is a vote of confidence. And it's also important that, you know, Blinken decided to stay overnight in the capital. And this shows that he's confident in Ukraine's air defenses, including those provided by the United States, the Patriot systems. And interesting as well about the timing of this, Peter, because, of course, at the beginning of the week, we had uh, President Zelensky announcing the change at the top in the Ministry of Defence, new leadership being put in place, but also as well uh, intelligence coming from the US that uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin is looking to meet with Kim Jong-un of North Korea. There's been a lot happening this week. Well, indeed, I would also that this is a very much uh, legitimate way to connect them. You know, as Vladimir Putin is seeking support for his for his flagging military effort in Ukraine, as his uh, um, you know military industrial complex is showing problems, uh, making the sort of uh, quantity of weapons that's needed to continue the war in Ukraine, uh, he's uh, you know showing desperation and going to meet with the world's worst. Pariah, you know, the leader of North Korea. So Anthony Blinken, that, that his visit is sort of uh, meant to uh, counter that. And yes, indeed, uh, Zelensky has, uh, you know, made some, uh, you know, prepar has prepared well for this visit. You know, we discussed earlier on this program uh, the decision to go after Mr. Kolomoisky, who is want a major billionaire here in Ukraine, who is wanted on charges in the United States. And Resnikov was showing some. You know, uh, you know, the Americans were showing concern with Mr. Resnikov, the outgoing uh, defense minister. So these are all gestures meant to allay concerns uh, in Washington. OK. Peter, always good to talk to you and see you are safe, are well. Good to be Thank on the programme. Peter Zalmayev there from Eurasia Democracy 